St. Luke's is getting a step closer to completing its Idaho Elks Children Pavilion. You've probably seen construction happening for it if you've driven through downtown Boise recently. Today, crews placed a signatory beam on the top of the building and KTVB Shira Matsuzawa tells us more. That's right, Dee, and you can see the building behind me right over there. Now, today's signature beam means that crews can now start, stop, now they can focus their attention on the interior and the exterior of the building. Take a look. At lunchtime Wednesday, 30 people took a break in their day to watch crews place the signatory beam on the Idaho Elks Children's Pavilion at St. Luke's. It's beyond exciting. I am containing myself from jumping up and down. When finished, the four-story, 100,000-square-foot building will connect directly to Idaho's only children's hospital via a sky bridge. All of our specialists will now be in one building. So if you have a child that needs to see multiple specialists frequently, you can schedule it so you come in all on one day and you just move throughout the same building. Dr. Catherine Beatty, the executive medical director for St. Luke's Children, says the steel beam was decorated back in May. We put this beam out with markers and all of our friends and staff, patients, as well as donors were um, encouraged to sign their name, write a tribute to the kids that are cared for or the staff that cares for them. And all of that now is a permanent part of the building. But that wasn't the only endorsement the beam received. Construction crews also named it. Her name is Jenny uh, from the movie Forrest Gump because we love Jenny. Jamal Nelson is the construction superintendent for St. Luke's Health Systems. The beam acknowledges a lot of different things. It's a, it's a representation of the hopes and dreams and vision of the hospital and the people that work here. But really, for me, it's, uh, it's a lot more than that. It's about the guys who've built this building, who've been a participant in sort of uh, fulfilling those dreams and that vision. He says the quality that's built into this $42 million facility is a reflection of the people involved. You'll notice the signs that we have, uh, the We Care Way. That is kind of our mantra here. It's, uh, it's what we stand for. You know, the older you get, the more important it is to have purpose in your life, to have a purpose-driven life. So when you can build something like the Children's Pavilion, it's not a complicated building, but it's a purposeful building, something you have a lot of pride in. So, yeah, it's pretty special.